My name is Melida Arredondo, and I am a Gold Star stepmother. This is my husband, Carlos. He's holding up a sign that says, We are hope in Spanish. What is a Gold Star stepmom? When you, as a parent or a family member, lose your loved one at war, you get this little gold star issued by an act of Congress in 1947. I am a Gold Star step parent. <sighs> Alex was killed at the age of 20 years and 20 days. I have to apologize to you all. I am one of four Gold Star parents in New England who have been speaking out against the war. My husband and Joyce and Kevin Lucy are the other three. Why are we so few? Perhaps some of us have a recent loss. This is too new to us to actually speak out. Perhaps we're too conflicted about whether we should speak out or not. Or perhaps there are those out there who are so full of hate, they tell us that by speaking for peace, we are traitors. In Massachusetts, there have been 86 who have been killed in action in Iraq. Two have committed suicide and one is missing in action. On top of that, there are 12 who have been killed in action in Afghanistan. Alex was called Dondo by the Marines, band of brother who stood and fought with him. Alex wrote his family and friends many letters. From boot camp, Paris Island, he wanted to let everybody know that I love them. All milita military and families and troops know that getting mail is the best feeling you could ever have. Alex wrote, I can't wait to hear from you again. In 2002, he wrote us about his rock mate, Jason Poindexter, the laziest person I ever met, he joked. They went through basic training together at Paris Island. He wrote that letter on his father's birthday in 2002. Two years later, on that date in 2004, Alex would be killed by a sniper's bullet, shot to the left temple. Poindexter was killed 18 late, days later in 2004. Also in 2002, in September, before the dreaded crucible that every Marine must endure, Alex sent what I consider his most ominous letter. He asked in the PS to that letter for information about Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq. We get very little information. I've heard things about conflicts, war, deployments. This is exactly what my household feared that Alex would be sent to war. Alex signed up to be a Marine at the age of 17. Yes, 17. He turned 18 at boot camp. He turned 19 and 20 in Iraq. And at 20 years and 20 days, he died in the holy city of an najaf I work in healthcare, so the many letters that Alex sent me would go something like this. Hey, I got the smallpox scab. It fell off. It left a nice scar. We all received vaccines today, and boy, are we sick. Me too, due to the seasickness. I got a root canal a couple of days ago, and I feel much better. Let me tell you one thing that I would do is that I would make sure that both of my stepsons, Alex and Brian, would go and visit the clinic where I work to see the dentist. When I found out, the day that I found out that Alex was killed, I called up that dentist. I left him a voicemail and I said, thank you so much for taking care of his teeth, but Alex is dead. Our young men and women decide to enlist. As families, we are drafted. We get no training and after they are deployed, we figure out how much to live. We have to figure out how to live with the possibility of them returning home in a flag-draped casket. It's not easy. Each loved one pays a price with mental and physical health. On January, Alex, Dondo, 
He is one of the too many who have been killed or injured. U.S., Iraqi, the coalition forces, and the casualties here at home due to violence in our streets, due to cuts in health care, due to the first responders being deployed when they are needed here. So I ask all of you, please remember Alex and all of those who have died during this period because they are the ones who will teach us the lessons of our history. We have much to learn for them. So I say to you, Dondo, my Alex, I am forever faithful, semper fidelis, siempre fiel, and I hope that my words honor you always. God bless you all. Peace to all. Thank you.